بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایوریون آئی ایم محمد امار اینڈ ان دس ویڈیو آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا انورٹی بریڈ ہارمونس انورٹی بریڈس ہیو کیمیکلس لائک دا ہارمونس وچ آر کار دا نیورو سیکریشنس اینڈ سچ ایز دا نیورو پیپٹائڈس سم انورٹی بریڈس لائک دا ملسک آرتھروپوس اور دا اکائنو ڈرگس ہیو سم ہاؤ ڈیولپ ہارمون اینڈ the endocrine system so let's have a brief overview of the invertebrate neuropeptides and the hormones first of all we'll discuss about the porifera or the sponges the porifera these do not have classical endocrine glands so these porifera or the sponges also do not have neurons they also do not have the neurosecretory cells or the neuropeptides the next one is the cnidarians cnidarians have cells the nerve cells cnidarians such as the hydra they contain the growth promoting hormone that stimulate budding regeneration and growth so there is hormone responsible for the regeneration budding and growth we know that the hydra reproduce by budding and if it is lost its part some of its past part is lost so it is regenerated by means of this hormones the next are the platyhelminthesis the platyhelminthesis have neurosecretory cells in the cerebral ganglions and major nerve cord these cells produce the neuropeptides these neuropeptides perform the function of regeneration asexual reproduction and gonad maturation so these function of the regeneration asexual reproduction and gonad maturation are performed by neuropeptides which are produced by neurosecretory cells the neurosecretory cells which are present in the cerebral ganglion or the major nerve cord and the next one invertebrates we are going to discuss that are the mollusk in mollusk the ring of the ganglia of the mollusk is richly awarded with the neurosecretory cells so there are a lot of neurosecretory cells present in the ring of ganglia these neurosecretory cells produce the neuropeptides that regulate the heart rate kidney function and energy metabolism so the heart rate kidney function and the energy metabolism are regulated by neuropeptides so in case of gastropods which are also mollusk the gastropods such as snail helix have specific hormone that stimulates spermatogenesis and an other hormone that is known as the egg laying hormone it stimulates the egg development and a hormone produced from the ovary and the testes stimulates the accessory sex organs in snails uh, the shell of the snail the growth of the shell of the snail is controlled by another har- growth hormone so in case of gastropods the specific hormone for smer- spermatogenesis and another specific hormone for egg development and for the production of the accessory sex organs the next are the cephalopods cephalopods are also mollusk such as the octopus and the squids in cephalopods there is optic gland present in the eye star and this optic gland produce one of the hormone that stimulate the egg development proliferation of spermatogonia and development of the secondary sexual characters so the egg development proliferation of spermatogonia and the development of the secondary sexual characters these are regulated by the hormone which is produced from the optic gland and that is present in the eye stack of the cephalopods these are the gastropods and uh, the land snail or this is the cephalopods the next one 
that is the echinoderms echinoderms are highly have highly developed endocrine systems the end, endocrine system of the echinoderms mainly consists of gonads and other small organs which release hormones associated with reproduction and defense activity so the hormones are produced by gonads so it means there is glands present the radial nerves of the sea star contains a neuropeptide called gonad stimulating substance so in case of radial nerves in uh, in sea stars there is a neuropeptide which stimulate the gonads it induces immediate shedding of the gametes spawning behavior and meiosis in the oocytes so it is also responsible for the shedding of gametes spawning behavior and meiosis in the oocytes the neuropeptides also call also cause their uh, the release of a hormone the release of the hormone called the maturation inducing substance which has various effect on the reproductive systems so neuropeptides are also responsible for the release of a maturation hormone or maturation inducing substance which is responsible and which have the effects on the reproductive system so yet we have discussed about the hormones of porifera uh, cnidarians platyhelminthesis nematodes mollusk and echinoderms so in the next video tutorial which is also part of this video we will discuss about the arthropods and anidids the main focus will be on arthropods their ecdysis process and their morphogenesis in the uh, crustaceans and the insects so that video is also part of the this topic that is the invertebrate hormone so kindly also watch that video to complete this topic thank you so much don't forget to subscribe my channel